Where were the Greens on October 7? Where were the Greens? Now, where were the Greens when 1,200 innocent Israelis were killed? Now, where, where were those Greens? Have the Greens, any members of the Greens, been to Israel? Have they been to see the sites of the atrocities? Have they watched? Have they bothered to watch the 43-minute video? Have they bothered to do that? Now, the 40, you don't have to go to Israel. Have you seen it? Have you seen the 43-minute video? Because if you haven't, if you haven't, I, I encourage you to do it. I encourage you to I watch members the 43-minute video. Through the chair. Mr. Uh, Deputy Speaker, I encourage those members of the Greens to watch that 43-minute video because it will enlighten them. I, had, I wish I hadn't seen it. I wish I hadn't seen it. Um, when I travelled to Israel in December and I watched that video in December of the absolute barbarity of those attacks, the absolute barbarity of uh, Hamas kitted up with uh, rocket-propelled grenades, with automatic weapons, and you know what else they had? They had cameras because they wanted to show the world what they were doing. Not only did they kill innocent Israelis, uh, they killed women, children, beheading people. Uh, the rape. Where was the Greens? You know, it's it's me too, unless you're a Jew. Rape was used as a weapon of war, and yet the Greens come in here and say nothing about what caused this war in the first place. What caused this war was the atrocities on the 7th of October. If, this, if, if Hamas wanted this war to be over, they could unconditionally surrender and hand back the more than 100 hostages which are still being held. Six, six uh, hostages were discovered overnight, dead, killed. There's around about 105 or 106 hostages that are still remaining. We don't know whether they're alive or whether they're dead. But the, the unbelievable uh, 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 hypocrisy of the members of the Greens to come in and make these uh, political statements which are designed to try and get uh, the media uh, involved and look at what the Greens are doing. Let me tell you, Greens, through you, Chair, that what was once a party of environmentalists, those same environmentalists are walking away from you in their droves because you've become through you, Chair, the Greens have become much more than environmentalists. They've abandoned that, and now what they are doing is effectively trying to become uh, the, the major uh, party on the left. Please God, that will never happen. Please God, that will never happen. It will be bad enough if they form some form of a coalition uh, with the Labor Party, but at least the Labor Party is a party of government. They don't just come in and make ridiculous comments. They, they will never, the Greens will never, hopefully, have to serve in government. I want to encourage the members of the Greens, before they do this stunt again, to travel to Israel and see what I've seen. To watch, at the very least, watch that 43-minute video of the atrocities that have occurred and continuously come out and condemn Hamas and condemn the violence and call on Hamas to unconditionally surrender and return each and every single one of the hostages. If they did that, if they did that, 
this war could end <coughs> today. So why don't they do it? Why don't they do it? Well, I don't understand. I don't understand, and I, and I don't pretend to understand what their motivations or their rationales are. But it is not coming from a bona fide's place, and, and this House should condemn the Greens today.